What's up, people? Marjack79 here, and we are back today with another Marvel Legends figure review. Today, we are looking at the Spider Man into Spider Verse Miles Morales and the Spider Gwen, but that's debatable <laughs> looking at these head scopes if they're actually really based off of the movie here. All right, man, let's uh, take a look at the packaging real quick. Got the Marvel Legends series logo there, the Miles Morales. Got the figure here. He's got some lightning effects, two fisted hands, some webbing action here. Got the head sculpt here. Does that look like Miles Morales from the movie? No, <laughs> not really. Uh, then we got the Spider Gwen here. I got the head sculpt there. Does that look like Gwen Stacy from the movie? No. Not really. <laughs> we got a hooded, uh, like she's got her hood off accessory there. Some more webbing. The Spider Man into Spider Verse logo. Miles Morales, Gwen Stacy. Ages 4 and up. Made by Hasbro. Got some artwork here. Turn it to the back. Carefully designed web shooting technology lets Miles and Gwen defend the city against enemies with web style slinging and all crawling action. Got some cool pictures here of the figures. Hasbro.com slash Spider-Man. Turn it to the side here. It's, it's more of the same. Let's put it to the bottom. Let's set something down. But blah da da da. Top blah da da. All right, man. Let's crack this baby open and let's get a look. We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. And now we have our figures out of the package. Man, I hate to start it off negative, man. But I'm gonna go ahead and call it, man. This is just a cash grab. Um, these are clearly uh, figures that have came out in the uh, past, and they, uh, I, I mean, it's, it's technically the same characters, you know, from the movie, but it, these are definitely figures that we've seen before, just, you know, just re-released in this package to promote the movie, I guess, so it's disappointing, I mean, it would have been cool to uh, get an accurate head sculpt that represented Miles from the movie because obviously you know he had his afro and then Gwen did not clearly did not have that haircut in the movie either so 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 for the accessories we've just got some fisted hands like I said just this hooded accessory piece here some lightning effects for Miles then some some more of this generic webbing that I'm not really a fan of for the two figures as well so but when it comes to the figures themselves, I mean, as you can see, I mean, it's a pretty accurate representation of the character from their comic book versions. I mean, but I think, you know, a key part of Miles's outfit that's missing from the movie is his Nikes, man. It's, uh, it's very disappointing. You know, he doesn't have on his Nikes so from the movie, so yeah and then if we go to Gwen just look at the front here uh, now her outfit is pretty much spot on from the uh, movie this wasn't really uh anything different from the movie that you know it's kind of it's kind of a weird like kind of pink shading around the eyes there though I don't think that was in the movie but but definitely I mean if I remember correctly I'm pretty sure he had on those Nikes like throughout even when he got his uh, outfit, now I could be I could be wrong, and, I mean, and then I mean I'm sure it also it could have been a licensing thing too, so maybe they couldn't really like, use the Nike shoes, but at least just put some sneakers on them or something to you know better represent what he had on. All right, so let's spin it, spin them to the back here real quick, get a look at them there, and then we'll do articulation. Okay, so with the back here i mean as you can see it's pretty spot on of how he made his outfit i mean it shows you in the in the, in the movie exactly what he did to make his outfit so that's so that's pretty spot on it looks cool knee joints look uh, look okay and we move on to the gwen it's pretty much the same thing it's pretty accurate to the uh, comic book version of the character and honestly her movie version too so huh well, there's a little bit of a paint mess up right there. Did you see that? That's weird. What the heck happened there, dude? Wow. Okay. That's unfortunate. Luckily, I won't be posing her from the back anytime soon anyways, but that's still really annoying, though. Um, yeah, man. Okay. Great. And then, now that I'm really looking at it, um, there's... There's a, like a little piece of piece of like chip paint. You see that on the bottom right hand corner of the spider logo, though. Uh, that looks like that's kind of like off too. So that's that's weird. Yeah. 
All right, man. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of their articulation real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and run through this articulation real quick. We'll start out with, with uh, Miles. So the head here cannot look down. Uh, he can look upwards that much. Let's see. Rotate 360 degrees and cannot tilt left or left or right. Um, arm can rotate 360 degrees, go upwards of that much. Uh, he has a bicep swivel. His arm can go upwards of that much. So he's got some good articulation in his arm here. Put that back. Put that back down. So you can definitely get him into some dynamic, some dynamic swing poses for sure. This this arm here is a little bit stiff. Mm. Yeah. So we can bend this a little bit here. Yep. There you go. Just like so. Because you because that's the most important thing in a, in a Spider-Man action figure, man. You've got to have some uh, serious articulation to get them into those flexible, dy uh, dynamic poses, man. Okay, so now for the leg, uh, he has a thigh swivel. to go to, I think, rotate 360 degrees. Uh, can be pushed backwards that much just on its own. Uh, it can be kicked forward that much. So he's definitely got some... Uh, some good art some good split is action in his legs here um oh yeah and then for the torso his torso can move from downwards there that much and then we could be pushed backwards that much so then with the knee here can be pushed backwards that much as you can see and then if we move on to the ankle can that can be tilted backwards like that and then it can be tilted upwards like so and then the sh the, oh yeah, then he has a shin a swivel that can be rotated 360 degrees as, as well. Um, and then his ankle rocker can be tilted over that much and that much. So not bad. It's not bad, man. This is definitely a pretty well ar articulated figure. I just wish it was more accurate to the character from the movie. But I mean, I get it. If they wanted to put something out really quick to celebrate the release of the uh, movie. Uh, then he has some wrist swivel going on here. That because I this, you can go up and down, left and right, and then obviously it can be taken off, and uh, you can put the uh, the fist and hands accessories onto his wrist too if he wanted to make that change. Um, so, the, so then the thing about that I'm kind of upset about his little lighting accessory here really doesn't I don't know I feel like it's clearly like was not built for him I don't know it's just, it's just a little bit weird man I don't know I'm not really feeling it you know I me mean? I mean it's kind of it's pretty much accurate to an extent to the movie of how he utilized it but I don't know, there's just something, there's something about it that just rubs me the wrong way. Maybe I'm just being nitpicky, but I don't know, I just don't like it. <laughs> yeah, so, so, probably just gonna throw that away. I'm probably just not even gonna use it. Uh, okay, so let's move on to the Gwen here. So with the Gwen, you can kind of, you know, already kind of move this head, switch over this headpiece around here a bit. Uh, her head can move all the way down, and it can move kind of up, but it kind of gets hindered by the uh, hooded piece here. So then, arm can rotate 360 degrees. Same thing with this arm here too, as well. Uh, that's just a little bit tight. I gotta be able to put that all the way up, right, the, up like that. Down, so tight, man, it's tight. Okay, so then the bicep can be pushed upwards of that much, about 90 degrees. She has a roast, roast. She has a wrist uh, swivel and rotation, as you can see. Ba -da -ba -da. Da -da 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 -da. Bing, you see, bing, bing. Um, um, oh, Jesus Christ! Let's see, look at that. It snaps right off, man. Okay, let's just snap that back on there. Please and thank you. Ah, there we go. Sheesh. It's tight, man. Probably because it's not. And I was gonna I was gonna get into that too. I don't know, these these uh her elbow pegs are weird, man. I don't know. I can't really get I don't know if yeah, there it goes. 
Yeah, so I think I got a faulty a faulty figure, man. Cause my elbow peg doesn't even want to bend, dude. It doesn't even want to bend. I can't. I can't even really bend. Yeah, so I got a. I got a. Either I got a faulty one, or <laughs> I wonder if they're just universally bad like that. Wow, how about that? No, I can't. I really can't get this elbow to bend at all. Even every time I try, it just. It just. Like it, it, it just comes apart, huh? That's unfortunate. <laughs> wow, Marvel Legends. Wow, talk about your shoddy uh, figure distri distribution. Sheesh, forty. I mean, a twenty dollar figure. I mean, I get it, but I mean, stuff like that. That's that's unacceptable. Though. I mean, come on. I mean, so okay. So just 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 move on. So turn torso swivel. She has no tilt at, at all. Um, well, she has well a little bit, I guess. So so you get that, and you get that. Um, God, man, I can't get over that freaking arm, though. So I mean, that's so I mean, that's literally the only pose I'm gonna be able to be able to put her in, cause she can't bend her arm. So I mean, it's gonna look stupid like that. So I'm just gonna have to put her in the web shooting pose, and that's it. So while I'm on the subject, look at this weird kind of spotty paint job on her on her hood accessory hair. Huh? Yeah, that's odd. Yeah, this review is not going good, people. It's not going good. You know, some sometimes you know I'm usually a lover of action figures and every everything that I buy, but man, I'm kind of starting to regret this per this purchase. <laughs> I hate to say it, dude, but forty, but for forty dollars, man, I don't think this is I don't think this is worth it, man. Yeah, so if you can find this this stuff cheaper on eBay, I would definitely go for go for that because this is unfortunate so so far. All right, so let's, so thigh swivel, boom, uh, knee joints you can bend backwards of that much. Ankle, boom, and boom. So I mean, at least at least her legs are articulated well, so you can still get her into those some cool Spider-Man poses with her legs. But it's kind of pointless because her torso and arms are so crappy that so, I mean, I mean, you can't really. You 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 have to have some kind of an ab crunch to get Spider-Man into a realistic, you know, swinging pose, because or else it's just not gonna work. Man, man, disappointing, dude. Disappointing. Love the movie though. Absolutely love the movie. It's just unfortunate that they that Marvel Legends gave them crappy crappy figures. But and then I know um, it's uh, pretty sure it is a better import figure of this Spider Gwen too. I don't know if if uh, Yamaguchi or Figma made it. I'm pretty sure it was uh, Yamaguchi though. So I mean, if you're a serious fan of of, of Spider Gwen, I would definitely go for the uh, Yamaguchi figure, not this one, because because this one's crap. Though it is. Okay, so the only other thing that we have here is just more of these webs here. I'm just I'm not a fan of these at all either. Uh, I mean, they just wrap around the wrist hair with just this this little part here but like I said they but even when you do that they still either sink like they just kind of weird where they just sink straight down or they just stick up and doesn't look good so you know, it's just trash to me too uh yeah man so got the figures here um the miles morales is oh is okay i mean i'm happy to add him to the collection the uh, spider spider grin I'm, i am honestly i'm relatively upset with her uh yeah man i don't know uh one more look at these head sculpts here i mean it's a cool face i'm sure that's accurate to the comic book version of the character but he just he didn't look like that in the movie the same thing with the with the Gwen head so she didn't she didn't look like that in the movie, dude. And this is what these figures, that's what they're advertising these figures are is supposed to look like. So, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I rarely do disappointing reviews on my channel, dude. But today is the day, I guess. Uh, yeah, man. So, you know, just be forewarned. Uh, I uh, picked this up from Target for $39.99. But if I had to make that decision all over again, I don't think I would have did it. So, yeah, and I think we'll leave it at that, man.
Um, so definitely look forward to my review of the actual movie, which will be way more positive than this because I love the movie. Um, uh, you can follow me at youtube.com slash martinjack79, my Twitter, uh, Instagram, and uh, Facebook at martinjack 779 as well. Usually post um, every day. Uh, so we are a large growing channel and I would love if you would hit that subscribe button to help support and until then I will catch you guys on the next one I'll see you later bye